All right. All right. Now you guys have gone and done it. You have found it. You have found, out of all of the characters that possibly exist in the entire Warrior Cats universe, you have found my secret ship. That's right, you guys. You actually did it. One of the suggestions in the comments absolutely hit, like, right on the nose. One of my secret favorite ships that I have always carried for the Warrior Cats. And so, without further ado, my friends, we are actually going to see what would happen if our lovely Leaf Pool actually happened to raise a litter of kits with Mothwing. And again, I find myself having to kind of be really careful because I know so many of you have no idea who these cats are. And if you do, I would love to know down in the comments, like let me know what you think in very careful, spoiler free, or at least read more warning zone areas, um, what you think of Mothwing and what you think of Leafpool and what you think of this kind of ship. Because to be honest, it is the one that I have been looking forward to doing the most for my own personal reasons, but holy cats! Our patrons, our wonderful artist Alari, so many hundreds of you have suggestions about future Warrior Cats mixes that we are definitely going to be doing, and we're gonna keep doing it as long as you guys continue to be so excited, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let Leaf Pool let you guys in on a little secret. You see, working with all of the cats, being able to really start getting quite curious about how all of their different stories would play out, especially reading all of the amazing little role play that you guys have been doing in the comments. Yeah, it's kind of getting me so ridiculously excited about the potential of Warrior Cat stories that I actually have started sketching out ideas for a entire new series based in Warrior Cats, if I can get Sims 3 working again. Because alas, as beautiful as the cats are here in our Sims 4 Create a Pet, they just don't play the same wild way that they do in Sims 3. I'm going to be keeping my patrons really up to date on that and giving them the first chance to submit cats to the new series that I hope to be doing, but I'm going to be really taking my time, doing my best to battle all of the bugs, and uh, seeing if we can make this happen in a sustainable and reasonable way that would keep the series going for a long time. And until then, we absolutely need to keep this up! So keep the suggestions coming down in the comments, my friends, because I love seeing all of the different pairings that you guys have and I hope you will forgive me about the fact that I cannot really talk because there's so many of you who are at different places in the book series about what I think about Mothwing and about what I think about Leaf Pool. I really just have to kind of let that sit in mystery zone. Maybe I will be able to share it with the patrons. Maybe we can have some sort of secret special episodes or streams, but for now, I will keep my lips sealed. And we're just going to say that these two lovely ladies, and yes, they are both female cats, we're going to say they just had a different path and fate, and they really grew closer together as time went on, and they realized, you know, I think I think there's really something special here between them. And we're gonna actually have a special story for these two, because instead of having kits themselves, I have always had this little daydream that maybe as they are walking along a river one day, they happen to stumble upon a bunch of lost kits. Kits who were perhaps thrown into the river by some terrible awful two leg and uh, they desperately leapt into the water. I could just imagine Mothwing like paddling through the waves of the little river trying her best to go ahead and grab the bag. I can just imagine Leafpool pulling the kits out and pushing on them to make sure the water comes out and that they start breathing again. Their desperation leading them to go ahead and become mothers to a litter of adopted kids. So this time, instead of seeing what their genetics, even though their genetics would be so beautiful, look like together, we're actually going to randomize 100% the kits that are born, and we are going to have these two raise them. Also, really quickly, before we dive into the story and I forget, uh, just a huge shout out to ECB1996, who created this version of Mothwing. I'm just using the one that's like at the top of the popular list to try to just go with it, and as close to kind of the fun side of the official art as possible. And also the Crystal Shine, who created this beautiful version of Leaf Pool. There are so many other amazing versions of both of these cats out there, and if you guys continue to upload like versions of the Warrior Cats to the Sims 4 gallery, there's a good chance that it may actually show up in some of our future episodes doing these things. So keep it up, you guys! But alright, so 
We have leapt into the water. We have splashed through the waves and we are going to be rescuing six little kits. So let's actually come in. We're gonna make a mixed breed. And these are gonna be our little mystery kits as we go ahead and have two unknown parents that they were plucked from. <gasps> oh, hello! Result in some new kittens. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited because they're gonna be so random. <laughs> We should do this some more with some of our pairings. Maybe we'll start doing kind of a mix of adopted kits and we'll also do a mix of genetic kits because I think that could be a lot of fun. But this little one is friendly, affectionate, and lazy. And his name is actually going to be Flickertail as he gets older. Oh my gosh, I love his face. Okay, but we have to rescue all of his siblings. And actually what we can do is we can make sure that these guys are genetically related by coming over and we can play with, we can make a sibling. So we could make another sibling. I want to just see, is that always going to make them be the exact same patterning though? Cause that's not quite what we're looking for, for something a little bit more random. We're looking for something a little bit more random. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out the next kit from the bag. Make sure that they don't get anything in their lungs that makes them weak. And we are going to welcome... <gasps> Holy cats! Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this cat! This is so cool! Okay, we definitely need to have some more kittens like this. But it, this is a boy and his name, according to the Warrior Cats Random Generator, is going to be Prickle Heart. What? What? Why does he look so cool? Why is his name so epic? He is a skittish and spoiled kit who's also very talkative. So it sounds like he's a little jumpy, he's a little spoiled, but he has a lot to say. We're gonna have to see what his story roles are going to be when he grows up. All right, let's go ahead, rescue the next kit. Twink's probably like exhausted from all of the swimming. Oh my gosh, they fool you would have such cute kids. Maybe we'll have to go ahead and have Star Clan bless these two with some genetic kits after all, because they're so cute. Oh, hello. And right over here, we have a little girl. Oh, she looks so different from her brothers. She is a prowler who is also going to grow up quite spoiled and very curious. And her name is going to be Olive Poppy. Oh. What a cute name! I can't wait to see what her story is going to be too. Oh, I love how we have such a variety with these kits. All right, let me go ahead and pull up some fresh little kit that's going to be born. All right, and this one is going to be <gasps> so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I cannot believe how cute these kits are. Okay, we are definitely going to have to start doing mixes of like adopted kits and genetic kits because you get such variety here. This is going to be, excuse me, Heather. So Heather Shine. And she is a territorial, playful, frisky kit who is such a beautiful tortoiseshell, a proper tortoiseshell with the full body tortoiseshell pattern in this time. Oh my goodness. These little kits, I wonder if they're like all related, related. One more from another. And there was just some evil person who was like, rather than spay and neuter my cats, I'm just gonna eat them into the water. I don't think so. <gasps> and a daughter, a blind daughter. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're gonna have to do more adopted kits. This is so gorgeous. I just feel the creativity, the curiosity about their stories just overwhelming me and making me so excited right now. I had no idea they could be so pretty. Oh, when we get our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series going again, we're gonna need to add in a lot of random genetics and just like stray kits and cats, especially because I have a feeling the world is going to be even more dangerous than it has ever been before. And we might need to keep quite a broad cast of characters. <clears throat> but all of that said, welcome to our mischievous, affectionate, territorial little zoo cloud. <laughs> I wonder if she is very territorial because she can't see. So maybe she's just super defensive about the space that is hers because she wants it to be a certain way because then she knows where everything is supposed to go. That makes a lot of sense to me. All right, and let's add in the last of the little kits. All right, and this little one is going to be <gasps> so cute. It looks, oh wait, 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 I made it, I made it from Mothwing. I was like, it looks just like, okay, maybe we're gonna have to have a genetic set between those two, just saying. Oh my gosh. However, I would like you guys to go ahead 
and I would like you all to meet Kestrel Ice. What a name. What a name. He is talkative, territorial, and mischievous. I think he's actually going to be maybe one of those characters that could come off a bit more as a bit of a villain, but just in the way where, you know, if you're a very strong cat, you kind of get what you want out of life. Oh my gosh. Why are all these kids so amazing? Holy cow, maybe I should adopt a second letter because this is so great. Ahem. But all right, guys, if you are ready, let's step into the future and see what the story is going to be for all of these kits raised between Leafpool and Mothwing, starting with Flickertail. Flickertail, let's see what you look like. Oh my gosh, he's really cute as an adult. Oh my goodness. Oh, he lost his tail. <laughs> Did somebody give him the name Flickertail to be extremely cheeky? And, and like point out that the poor cat freaking lost his tail because I think that's a little rude. I just, I wonder if he did something ridiculous and so he got the name tail because he literally has no tail. Ugh. All right, his story is definitely going to be one of mysteries. Let's me grab, let me grab the dice of destiny and we're gonna move really quickly down the lineage here and we're gonna see. So his story is going to play out one, two, three, four, five. Okay. There's a lot of butterflies. Maybe he got the name Flicker because he really loves chasing the little butterflies. He like is doubled down on the butterflies. There's some little booties and there's no tail. Huh. And also his whiskers change to bright pink. You know, I'm gonna let you guys handle the story on this because I will admit I'm gonna need a good think about this. <laughs> However, that is what Flicker Tail's story is. He's gorgeous. Prickleheart, our spoiled, talkative, and somewhat skittish boy. Oh my gosh, Prickleheart, you grew up completely not looking like what I thought you were going to. With an extremely long tail. Did you like steal the tail from your brother? I can't believe that. All right, and then one, two. So Flickerheart actually has something to do with fish or the shark or maybe teeth, however you want to interpret that. And also the snow. I wonder if Prickleheart actually like lost his heart to to somebody during the winter oh my goodness we could really go all sorts of places with whatever his story might be or maybe he's just really good at hunting in the winter oh man all right olive poppy you're up next oh she's so cute she's just so cute i wonder what kind of jobs these various cats would have it's really fun to start thinking about that too all right one two three four five she died! No! Olive Poppy! I don't think there's any way around it. I think we have to admit, if your cat turns into a skeleton during the story phase, it died. Olive Poppy! How did you die? <laughs> okay, that's sad, but it happened. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on that. I've kind of got to sit with that for a minute. This is really getting dramatic. I really, I don't know how this is gonna go. Heather Shine, are you gonna be okay? Heather Shine, you're beautiful. You lost your tail as well. Oh my gosh. So she also lost her tail to some sort of event. Is she gonna, are we gonna lose her too? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we just have something to do with fish and maybe something to do with leadership or formality because she has a little bow tie. I feel kind of weak with relief because I can't believe her sister died, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then we have Dew Cloud and she's actually going to go ahead and grow up. She is still a blind cat. She also lost her tail. You should see me tilting my head right now. Maybe these kittens, maybe something, no, maybe something horrible happened to their tails before they got thrown in the river. I can't go there. That's too dark right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, dew cloud. But I think it's probably true. I think she likes naps. She just got the cutest little outfit for nap times. Dew cloud. You're adorable. Maybe she just really helps out. I get the feeling she probably helps out in the nursery, like as a den mom, even maybe if not a mom herself. And then Kestrel Ice. <sighs> wow, these cats look so cool. Kestrel Ice, let's go ahead and see what your story is going to be. And I mean, I don't want to be too biased, you guys, but I just really, oh my gosh, there's something to do with birds. 
something to do with birds and something to do with corporate leadership. I, I just get the feeling that Kestrel Ice doesn't have a problem as a territorial mischievous talker at being able to perhaps talk cats into doing things that they wouldn't really have done otherwise. However, that makes a very important and interesting character indeed. But alright guys, there we have it. The little kittens rescued by our wonderful Mothwing and Leaf Pool from the waters have grown up and they have absolutely set my imagination on fire. I would love to know more of these mixes that you guys would like to see. I have a feeling we might come back to Leaf Pool and we might come back to Mothwing because they're actually my favorite ship. Maybe they'll have at least another couple litters, I'm just saying, because the first set of litter, like, it was so cool. I think that Kestrel Ice really makes me want to write the most of a story about him just like big fur made me want to write a story about him last time so who's your favorite who would you pick if you had to choose a character to play as and what are your suggestions for the future crossbreeds you guys need to let me know because you are definitely setting my Im imagination on fire and giving me some ideas about our future mixes and matches that we might have so if you guys could do please leave a like it will definitely help encourage me to keep plenty of warrior cats content coming and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!